Welcome to my teeny tiny talk show. Do people call you Brie? Why is that what you want to call me? What's the origin of your name? Yeah. It's something you yeah, eat to throw up. So. You're yeah, something that people eat to throw up? <laughs> no, this is like a herb. Your name, Bryony. Your name is Bryony? No, it's Bryony. Bryony. Yeah. I'll take it. Okay, cool. Yay! With me today is our very first guest, Dave Keystone of Canoodle Content Show Kids On. The show is about Dave goes and talks to kids about modern romance and dating, and they give him VV good advice. Now we're gonna throw to the clip. Just wear what your life is. Wear what your life is? Yes. And what does that mean? It means whatever, wear whatever it means to you. So do whatever you want with your clothing. What does that shirt mean to you? It means my life. People love Aiden. Okay, I'm obsessed with him. People love Aiden. No, okay, like Michael and I was like, can we like bring him here? And I was like, do we even need Dave? Like, we just want Aiden. But, because he's the best one. He's like so thoughtful. People call him the little Buddha on the bench. Oh my god! Aiden, Aiden's <laughs> the little Buddha on the bench. Like, just like hashtag that shit immediately? Okay. And he's like, please describe! And he's like, bye! Yeah, yeah. please subscribe! <laughs> Thanks for watching! Please describe. Bye. Dave, tell me about uh, what inspired you to do this show in the first place. I was at an event sitting next to a 10 year old kid mm -hmm. and I had a crush on a girl across the room and I was just sitting there and I'm just like, I, for some reason I turned to him and I said like, man, I got a crush on this girl across the room. Mm -hmm. And he said, why don't you just go say hello? Mm -hmm. In such an innocent, you know, just say hello. And I was like, and when he said it, I was like, just say hello. Oh yeah. Started talking to him a little bit more about it. Mm -hmm. And um, and I called my partner, Nolan Sarner, who's the director and co-creator. Mm -hmm. And we sort of fleshed out this idea that we would seek relationship and dating advice from kids. Mm -hmm. What are you tittering about? Yeah. yeah. Nodding a lot. You're Nodding? Nodding a lot and also like crazy. keep your chin down though. Down. Not, not like this, a little okay. bit down. The more, oh my god, that's so unnatural. Not like that, that's fine. Uh, why did you want to make this show? What inspired you about it? I think that we found that there's so much online where kids are being interviewed, but they're just going for funny. We wanted to create a space where we actually like listen to kids, you know, because kids are super insightful. I think that the beauty of the show, as we fondle the pillow, yeah, do you wanna, like, is, I mean, yeah, I can pet it. Um, oh yeah, in my case, if you see. We knew that it would be funny, mm. but we weren't going for funny. I find my favorite kids are the more insightful kids. Are you wearing what your life is right now? You know, close. What is like missing from how you're wearing what your life is? What's like that little missing bit? I work from home, so I live in sweatpants and a t-shirt. I struggle with fashion. Why, what do you Maybe struggle you with? Like, okay, like what's your dream? Like what do you feel you need? Johnny Depp and Lenny Kravitz. Their powers Whoa. combined would work very well for me. I like the idea you of like- You totally don't dress that way. At all, zero. I dress very conservatively. Yeah. Control the nodding. Control the nodding, okay, yeah. No nodding. I really loved um, in Kids On the episode of, that talks about um, what should you wear on a date as the clip we just showed. <laughs> Can we send like a pic of Aiden's face? Like hey. he's just like floating, he's like, hey guys. Make Aiden float. But I loved it though because um, at the time I was like starting to date this guy. I was like, oh, and I would constantly go to Michael, like bing, Michael. Oh, Michael, like I, we're going out to this like uh, art show and I want to wear this like crazy huge skirt. Maybe he'll think it's like weird or it'll be like a huge boner killer or he'll be like, oh, I hate it. It. And I'm like, oh, but like, but that's like what I want to wear. And I'm yes. like, and Michael was like, he's like, do you know what you should wear? The clothes that you wear in your life. Yeah. And then we just coincidentally happened to watch the Aiden segment. And it actually was a legit epiphany where I was like, I'm going to do what Aiden says. And I wore that skirt. And now that boy is wow. now my boyfriend. He's cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I haven't seen him. I can't Isn't even see so cute? God, like, that is so good looking. A lot of people really like to wear what your life is lying. That's the thing is that the kids simplify what we Ooh. complicate. Am so I still doing nodding too much? My <clears> head <throat> is like, my head is like, and I'm like, I keep wanting to do yeah. it. And David's <clears> like saying something. <throat> and I'm like, <clears throat> wouldn't it be nice if we all had the confidence just to wear what our life is? Inside your heart, though, you want to dress like Lenny Kravitz. Inside my heart, I want to dress like Lenny Kravitz. And I I want to dress like Johnny Depp. I'm and I so to intrigued. Look at the camera when I said that because I mean it. Yeah. Huh? Don't be shy. I just cut it. The apple's okay. It's a little soft and weird. You want a piece of apple? Definitely snack, the snack right? right? It's really important. Yeah. Cut, cut. Thank you. What percentage of the kids did you find were like a little more like progressive or feminist or 
you know, like um, like split the date or like that kind of ethos versus a little more traditional or conservative? Like what was like the breakdown, would you 70, feel? 30, 60, 40, 60 yeah. and 70 weighed towards kids not being mm -hmm. very progressive in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Shocked by um, when we did who should pay on a first date. Oh yeah. A lot of the kids said that the woman should pay. Uh, there were a couple other examples. Wait, the women should up. pay or the men should pay? Sorry, did I say the women should pay? Yeah, yeah, go back and like. Totally, yeah. yeah okay. Retro rewind. <laughs> Almost all the kids said the man should pay. How do you know who to listen to in this like sort of very confused age of modern dating? One of the girls, said, her attitude Ooh. is, you got this. Oh, yeah, I know, you got she'd this. She'd always say something and then she'd be like, but you know what, you got yeah. this. Her name's Maddie. And then you go up to her and you say, I got this. Just being able to really trust your instincts and trust yourself mm. and whatever decisions you make, that's the decision you made. Mm. And if it didn't work for the other person, then it wasn't meant to be. You have to be you and that's that. It's the hardest thing to do. It's not the hardest thing to do to be yourself. It's the hardest thing to accept. Some things won't work out even if you want them to. You just have to keep staying, and it's so cheesy, but it's true, true to you. So David, what can we look forward to in future seasons? We talk about love. What is love? What is love? Is everyone meant to be with someone? We talk about marriage. We talk about how do you break up with someone? We talk about my, one of my favorites that kind of goes over the kids' heads but is amazing is um, how do you tell someone if you don't want to have a sleepover? Ooh! <laughs> oh. Hi yo! <laughs> oh my god! I loved it! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know, I, I have trouble with that. So let's say thank you to Dave Keystone for coming thank on you. the Breeze Teeny Tiny Talk Show today and follow Canoodle content on all social media platforms for new things. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. My stomach's growling. Can yeah. you hear it? Can we have yeah. more snacks yeah. after? Okay. Bye!